Hi everybody, it's Diane and I have a Happy Mail. It's a big heavy box from Kim in Minnesota. Let me make sure I got that right. Yes, Kim in Minnesota and it's heavy. So I just um, opened the end of it so I wouldn't have to fight with that. And now we're gonna see what is in this box. <laughs> I think it must be books. For the weight of it. Oh yes. Oh goodness. Oh my word. Oh, old magazines and books. Oh cool. All right. I'm gonna read her note. I think I'm gonna love that. She enjoys my videos. She's not a journal maker but she comes from a long line of family who repurposed things into continuous uses. We never wasted anything. These books were all found at a local church sale. Thank you, Kim, for thinking of me. I'll go through the books and then we'll go through those little things. This is Victorian trade cards. And I do have some real Victorian calling cards. These are trade cards. They're like advertising. Let's just see it a little better. So it just has images of some of these trade cards that I can cut out and use, make embellishments with them. Look at those. These are fun. And there are, a, oh, and there have, they have bigger images too. I am gonna have so much fun reading this, just looking through it. I'm gonna pack it with my things to move. And then after I get all settled in, I'll be able to sit in the evenings and look at this and then cut it apart. This is wonderful. I would have bought this if I'd seen it at a sale. Thank you, Kim. Then we have English Garden Embroidery, 80 original needlepoint designs of flowers, fruit, and animals. Plain green cover. Sometimes, oh, that's beautiful. These embroidery books. Oh, look at that. They can be so beautiful. Well, these don't, this is just the introduction. These are not embroidery images. They're just beautiful, beautiful pictures. Wow. So there's a needle point right there. I love these pictures. And when you get to the embroidery, they're just as pretty. This would be a really fun page in a journal. And oh, look at that. So this would be beautiful front and back. And then I could make embellishments with these. Oh, wouldn't that make a wonderful tuck spot? Love that. And there's another one that's front and back. Wow. This is a wonderful book. Beautiful images. It's a nice journaling card right there. Oh boy. Thank you. And then this is a large book. Trust me with your heart again. A fireside treasury of turn of the century sheet music. Oh, look at that. Down the back, too. So it's actually got music in it. I thought maybe it was just the illustrations, but oh my word, what a wonderful book. It's got the cool illustrations on cream colored paper and music sheets. This is wonderful. Yes, I would have picked up all of these books. They are just the sort that I love to use. And actually I've never seen anything like them, so. Oh. I appreciate so much that you thought of me when you saw these. 
and you don't make journals, but you knew that I would want to use these in my journals. Comic songs and popular novelties. Floridora. We get up at 8 a.m. Oh boy, this is great. Thank you. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six old magazines. This one is the American Home. I love the cover. It's from 1959, I think it says, but I love this pink. So pretty. I love the advertisements in these. I can make such fun embellishments and I use the pages. And then this one is Better Homes and Gardens and this is from 1959. What are you supposed to be doing around the house? Watching your baby grow. Bisquick recipes. Sunshine crispy crackers. I remember them. Look at that. That could be a fun embellishment right there. Craft apple jelly. Somebody cut something out here. And another Better Homes and Gardens from 1961. This is this was sent to someone in North Dakota. So was that one. Look at that. <laughs> That's really cool. Some more was cut out of this one. Tomato aspic and potato salad. make paper clips out of these salad dressing bottles. Better Homes and Gardens again, 1959 and 1962 and 1959. Just think of all the images that I'm going to find in these magazines. Thank you so much. Again, some more were, were cut out of this one. Which, I don't feel bad cutting out magazines, but just knowing somebody else already started cutting them, it's okay. I like that mustard jar. Okay, so that was three books and six magazines. Now let's see what the littler things are. We have this bag of, looks like petals, maybe? Oh, they're hearts. Pretty heart shapes. Oh, maybe it is a flower petal. I don't know, but it looks like a heart. And it has this sheer color, too. They're fun. I could think of imaginative ways to use these. Um, oh, recipe cards. Still in the package. Sealed. But... Oh, it has a scripture verse. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I want to open it because I think they're probably all the same design, but I want to see. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not. And another scripture verse on that. That one just has carrots. That's pretty. I love it. And blueberries. They look more like cherries, but they're purple. I mean, it looks like a cherry and a cherry stem. And asparagus. Those are really cool. I love using recipe cards. I think my favorite one is the carrot. I just love the colors. 
then a pack of divider cards, and they're vintage. And they're very sturdy. Very nice. I will I will love using them. And looks like more recipe cards and maybe some labels. And these all look vintage. There's a bear making a cake. Can you see that that's a bear? These definitely look vintage. That's really cute. So those are all the same. And then we have some labels from the kitchen of... I love these. Well, you know how to shop for junk journals, even if you don't make them, Kim, because these are all things that are great in junk journals. And then we have the Red Book of Birds of America, all birds illustrated in full color. I love the little size of this. There's the date. So it looks like a field guide. I want to say it's 1931, but could that be right? XXX X, X would be 30 and I would be 1. And then Wonders of the World, a guidebook illustrated. And this one is 1938, so maybe that is 1931. This is to James from a Sunday school. There's the Great Sphinx, the pyramids. So these are black and white pictures. But these would be so fun, tucked into tuck spots and pockets in journals and in envelopes. Yeah, I will like using this a lot. Well, this was a wonderful Happy Mail, and it was a very nice surprise. I worked hard today, very hard today, and it was nice coming home to find this box at my door. And I just love everything. I love every single thing. So thank you so much, Kim, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.